You may or may not have noticed that last month was sober October, when many endeavoured to lay off the booze for a few weeks. We are undoubtedly a nation of drinkers, though, with many dependent upon or at least regularly desiring the feelings of relaxation and increased confidence that accompany the consumption of alcohol. After sober October, many of you might be considering cutting down on your drinking or even kicking the habit altogether. My next guest might just have made that option a little easier by developing an alcohol-free alternative he says provides all of the boost uh, of booze, but without the downsides. Can it be true? Professor of Neuropsychopharmacology, Professor David Nutton, joins me now. Good evening, David. Good evening, Neil. Thank you for having me. Not at all. What is the drinking trend out there at the moment in, in, in the UK? Are we drinking more or are we drinking less? Uh, there was an upsurge of uh, drinking in people who drank during COVID. So drinkers drank more, um, probably because they would less other things to do. Uh, and, and that led to some problems. But subsequent to COVID, we're seeing quite an interesting move in young professionals uh, who are moving into this area called low or no drinkers either they they um they don't drink at all or they try to reduce their drinking and that's driven by a desire to maximize their longevity to reduce the health harms of alcohol and also to maximize productivity work work is tough work is stressful and they don't want to suffer hangovers so they're trying to cut down how much alcohol they take particularly during the week how does alcohol do what it does for us? What's the, what's the chemical reaction? Well, alcohol is actually a very complicated um, molecule in the sense it, it uh, interacts with many different uh, chemicals in the brain we call neurotransmitters. The one that gives us the good effects of alcohol is a, is a neurotransmitter called GABA, and that's the main calming transmitter in the brain. It relaxes you, it makes you takes away social stress and anxiety. So when people drink at a party, for instance, what they're doing is they're raising the function of GABA in the brain so that their the normal social anxiety and tensions go down. But the problem with alcohol is if you drink a bit more, then you, be, you get into interactions with other transmitters, such as dopamine, which is the, the Morris transmitter that makes you want to do more and become louder and, and, uh, and often you know, um, a bit more aggressive. And then if you take more again, you get into problems such as impairment of memory and cognition, and that's because it blocks another transmitter called glutamate. So alcohol is very um, complicated. And, and, and what we've been trying to do to, to give people what they need from alcohol, but minimal, with, with minimal risk of the other complications, is to target just the GABA system. And that's why our company is called GABA Labs. Uh, and what, what precisely then is this alternative that you've developed? How, how are you able to mimic the, you know, some of the effects of alcohol without alcohol? Yes, it's here. It's called Sentia. It's, um, this is a, a herbal a mixture of, we've searched uh, databases of, of food, food quality herbs, which have been known for, in many cases, for thousands of years to have benefits of relaxation and and tranquility and and, uh, and and helping people be mellow. And we put them together be because each of them contributes in a different way to facilitate um, the GABA system in the brain in the same way as a low dose of alcohol does. So, so, it's so you feel, so people, so, so someone, someone taking, someone drinking this would feel relaxation and feel better about themselves and whatever, but wouldn't become intoxicated. Is that right? That is correct. That's right. It's uh, best taken socially because that's uh, we know that in social interactions facilitate uh, are facilitated by GABA and, and and GABA itself facilitates those. So you get a, a, a virtuous circle. But you, were you to take a, a, a whole bottle of uh, uh, of Sentia, you, you wouldn't get intoxicated like you would with alcohol because it wouldn't interact with those intoxicating chemicals in the brain.